Hello everyone, welcome to my series on making an MMO RTS in Unity. This video is simply the introduction to many topics we are going to be learning, including everything needed to make an MMO RTS from start to finish. You can feel free to watch them in order, or just watch relevant videos to the subjects you're interested in. The concepts will be explained in a way that allows you to jump into different areas without leaving you confused. In this series, we will be learning things such as making menus and managing the menu states, which will be very unspecific to the game we are working on and should allow you to make menus that can easily be changed and added to any game you may make. Not only will we be working on managing the menu states, but we're also going to be learning how to effectively manage our game state and prevent a lot of nasty problems that can pop up when you're trying to go between different game states. Another important topic we'll be getting into, because it's an MMO, is obviously networking. Networking can be very simple or very complicated based on how you go about it, so my goal in this tutorial series will be to present networking in a way that even people who have never done anything related to networking will be able to understand it and implement it properly. Generating a map in meshes is something we will be doing in a not so standard way. Many times in Unity you will see people working with standard terrain tools because this is a tile based terrain. We will be doing all the meshes from scratch which will hopefully give you a deeper understanding of our available methods for working with terrain and meshes that will bring us into a topic that has been quite a craze for the last 10 years or so, procedural generation. Our goal is to have procedural generation assist in the creation of our maps so that we don't have to struggle with every single detail. And rather than messing for hours to tweak things we need, we can just tweak a few lines of code when needed. Speaking of our maps, even if we are going to start off procedurally generated, something every RTS needs is a good map editor. Not only for you to make your maps, possibly for your audience to make maps and play them with their friends and your community. This will also lead us into topics such as saving and loading our maps and other game data. Later in the series we'll also be getting into topics such as unit management, control, pathfinding, and AI, and just generally connecting everything together to bring it into one cohesive experience for our players. By the end of the series the game I will have made is actually going to be released on Steam under the name Kingdoms of Mirage. So if you're following this series, you can expect that you'll know everything needed from to go from start to finish in the game development world. Well, that concludes this introduction video, and in the next video, we'll start with setting up the project and getting our menus in place and functioning. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to see in the series, just leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. Until then, have a fun and productive day.